Hey, Treasure Hunter fans, your pal Big D back here again with another weekly news announcement. And this is for January 21st, 2020. For those of you new to my channel, I could do one of these videos every Monday where I post this up. I talk about what's coming out on Blu-ray and DVD this week, next week, anything that was majorly announced for the course of the last week. And then at the very end, I do um, go ahead and show you what I picked up last week, new release-wise. So um, let's get started. So... Yeah, this week's a pretty good week. There's quite a bit of stuff coming out this week. It's going to be a tough week. I mean, my wallet might not be so happy at the end of this week. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so the big one's coming out. Tomorrow we got Blue Underground is releasing um, House by the Cemetery, the Felucci film. I've talked to you about this before. I'm super excited. Although I ordered mine off deep discount because I got a really good deal on it and it hasn't even shipped yet. So I'm a little bummed I might not have it for a while. But that is coming out tomorrow. It's a really cool three disc set. Uh, it's got two discs with uh, commentary and a bunch of additional features, plus the movie. And then the third disc is the soundtrack of the movie. It comes with really cool lenticular art in the front. Blue Underground, put they're, they're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. If you ever get your hands on one, I've got four of them right now. And after this will be my fifth one. Um, they are absolutely beautiful. They do some amazing work. The transfers are completely... They blow me away. They are 4K transfers, and they're just, they're beautiful. I mean, they just, they take these old, lesser-known movies, and they just bring them back to life. They're amazing. So, that is coming out tomorrow. Also, the big title coming out tomorrow is Zombieland Double Tap, and that'll be coming out on a DVD, Blu-ray, 4K. There is a Best Buy Steelbook coming out tomorrow. You should be able to find that anywhere. It shouldn't have a problem. Now, with the House of the Cemetery, again, you're going to have to order it off a secondary website. On the, You can get it off of Amazon or a deep discount DVD or off Blue Underground's website. But I don't, I've don't. i never seen those in stores. Other than I, I remember seeing a couple of them at Fry's. But I don't know if you've been to Fry's. Like, they don't have much left. So, But there you go. And then also tomorrow we have Jay and Silent Bob, the reboot, which I will be picking up. Um, that's coming out on DVD and Blu-ray. Nothing, No 4K, nothing else special, but it's cheap. So... Um, tomorrow also we have the Addams Family animated movie coming out, which looks really cool. I really did want to see it in theaters. I'm kind of bummed I didn't see it in theaters, but that is coming out tomorrow. And that's a Blu-ray and DVD. There's no 4K on that. There's no special editions, at least that I could see. Um, and then also tomorrow we have Black and Blue coming out. That's going to be on DVD and Blu-ray. There's no 4K in that as well. And then the horror movie Countdown, which was out a couple months ago, comes out tomorrow. And that's just DVD and Blu-ray as well. And that's kind of expensive. Like I was looking at some of the pricing on that. Like, Best Buy's got it for $22.99. I was like, that's kind of expensive for a, a horror movie that didn't do that well in theaters. So, I, eh, whatever. I mean, it seems like the, the price points... Of, I don't know if you've noticed, but I noticed this too in the last few weeks. The price points of the movies, instead of coming out at $19.99 on sale, the Blu-rays are coming out at $22.99. Jerks trying to charge them more money. All right. Also, we have tomorrow In Search of the Last Action Hero. And I didn't know what this was, so I did some research on it. It's a really cool documentary coming out tomorrow where they go over action movies over the last 50 years, but they're very specifically uh, targeting the 80s and how the 80s brought forth a new type of action hero that had never really been seen before and how the action movies, especially during the 80s, got away with a lot of stuff that you think, nah, this ain't going to work, that they made it happen. So I really want to see that because I'm a big fan of the 80s and action movies in general, so it'd be really cool to watch that one. Um, you can find Amazon. I think Best Buy is... Uh, website has it but they won't have it out for sale any tomorrow um and then we also have the mindy project the complete series coming out by mill creek tomorrow we have a movie called the courier coming out tomorrow and the last one is a movie called pain and glory which stars antonio banderas i really don't know a lot about it but i've read a couple of uh, people's comments about it it seemed apparently his acting is really good in it so not really sure it'd be out on dvd and blu-ray but i'm not really sure what it's about because i don't ever remember hearing about it so that is it for this week um, leave me some comments down below. Are you planning to pick up anything tomorrow? I can tell you this right now. I will be getting Zombieland. It's on an order. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. Uh, I, I'm going to get Jay and Silent Bob for sure. The Obviously, I just told you the, the House of the Cemetery I'll be getting tomorrow. And then I do want to get Adam's Family because my wife is a really big fan of Adam's Family. So, um, I, I'm sure next week when I show you the video, I'll be showing all four of those, I hope. And okay, let's talk about the 28th, which is the following week, which will be the last Tuesday of the month, the first month of the year. We have the um, Tammy and the T-Rex, which right now, if you have Shudder, it is on Shudder right now. And it's Paul Walker and Denise Richards' first movie. It looks really, really cheesy. I really want to watch it. And I do have a subscription to Shudder, so I'm gonna ch I am going to check it out. But it's on there now, and I really recommend you t uh, checking it out because apparently it's really zany, really off the wall. But to see a really young, rest in peace, Paul Walker and Denise Richards, I think right there is worth the price of admission alone. So that'll be out next week. 
Also next week, Parasite, which apparently has gotten Golden Globe nominations, Academy Award nominations. I believe it's a Korean film. It's supposed to be really good. Comes out next week. Then the big one for me next week is obviously Terminator Dark Fate. There's a steelbook coming out for that next week. And then also we have Slumber Party Massacre. It's a Shout Factory steelbook coming out. You know, I have that Shout Factory at least on Blu-ray. I don't know if I'm going to want to upgrade the steelbook. If I can find it really cheap, maybe, but probably not on that one. You know, I love my steelbooks, but sometimes it's like if I already got that edition, that same edition, it's just the steelbook cover. It's kind of hard for me to really pull the trigger unless the steelbook looks absolutely incredible. And I've seen the steelbook. It looks pretty good, but eh. Um, also, Shout Factory is releasing tomorrow, um, I mean next week, next week, sorry, next week, um, Very Bad Things and Body Parts, uh, Jeff Fahey classic. So those will be out next week as well. Again, those you have to buy off the Shout Factory website or Amazon. You're not going to find them in stores. Although, I don't know if you've ever seen Very Bad Things. It's a dark comedy from the mid-90s starring Christian Slater, Jeremy Piven, um, oh gosh, uh, uh, Cameron Diaz. It's got an all-star cast. It's it's a really dark comedy. It's actually, I find it really funny and a little disturbing at times, but um, really enjoyed it, and that will be coming out next week. Also, Arrow Videos will be releasing the movie Edge of the Axe. A new, uh, it's not a new horror movie. It's an older horror movie. They're releasing that. Then we have uh, a movie called Motherless Brooklyn. I have no idea about it. But interesting title, though. And the last one will be American Outlaws. Now, this movie came out quite a few years ago. It stars... Um, Colin Farrell. It's a Western with Colin Farrell. It's pretty cheesy, but I actually really like it. So for the fact that that's coming out on Blu-ray is pretty good. So that is it for this week and next week. Now let's talk about what's, what was announced. Now there wasn't a whole lot announced. Honestly, there wasn't a whole lot. So with this list today, I'm going to kind of go back over a few that I can't remember if I told you guys about or not, or it's kind of an update. So the ones that I know for sure were announced were Jojo Rabbit, which I really wanted to see. That'll be out the 18th of February. Um, 21 Bridges, which I think I told you guys about, but I wasn't sure, so I want to go over that again. That comes out the 18th of February as well. Frozen 2 looks like it's going to be coming out around this February 25th. Gosh, that is fast. There's a steel book for that thing. It's a 4K. It's the whole nine yards of that thing. Um, and then, um, uh, Teen Titans Season 2 will be out on the 3rd of March. Can't wait for that. Um, we also have, uh, let's see here, um, Castle Rock Season 2. Season 1 I loved, so I really want to see Season 2. Actually, I didn't finish Season 1, but I love what I saw of it. Season 2, apparently, it's much more of the Kathy Bates character type uh, situation from Misery. And apparently she'd even said that the... I think it's Aubrey Plaza that plays her in this in this season. And she said that it's like really good, so we'll see. I will watch it. Um, and the other big ones, they announced Black Christmas, which was just out last month, literally like a month ago. They announced that for the 17th of March. And then the other ones uh, that looks like it's tentative so far, it looks like they're going to be releasing Star Wars. Um, the, the Star Wars The Force Awakens, it looks like, will be coming out in 4K finally. I thought it was in 4K, but I saw it on there. And that'll be at the 31st. And the other one is... Um, Let's see here. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker will be coming out. It looks like tentatively March 31st. So it's not that far away, believe it or not. But it looks like they're doing a Force Awakens in 4K. Now, the only way right now that you can get all nine movies in 4K is there's a big, beautiful $250 box that they're putting out. They'll have all in 4K. But I've yet to see anything about them individually being released in 4K. Do I want the box set? Yes. Do I have $250 right now to drop on it? No. So I'm not sure how I'm going to handle that because I know I have the last, uh, what was it, the um, the last movie in 4K and I have Solo in 4K, but, you know, I don't know yet. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do about that. Do I want them all? Yes. Do I want individually? Do I want them in the box? I'm not really sure. I know this. I will get the Steelbook for Rise of Skywalker. There's no if or but about it because I only need that one and Rogue One to have all the Star Wars movies in Steelbook. And Rogue One, to me, has been eluding me for many, 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 many years. I've not been able to find it. When I do find it, people want 70 80 bucks for it. And I just, I can't do it that much. So, if anybody ever sees a Force, uh, I mean, a Rogue One Steelbook out there, please let me know. But that is it. That is it for this week and next week. There's not much else. Um, it was kind of a slower week. Um, this week could be a little bit bigger week. What did I pick up last week? Well, I did pick up one non-new release, but it was a new release a few weeks ago. And I finally got it. I did finally pick up Ad Astra because it went on sale and went for a price. I was like, okay. So, I picked that up. I didn't get the 4K. It was just a Blu-ray, but I figured this one, I haven't yet to see it, so the Blu-ray would be okay with me. So I picked that up. And the two new releases I got, I did get Maleficent. Um, 
Mistress of Evil. I got it the 4K edition. I didn't go with the blue, uh, the Steel Book or the Best Buy exclusive because I don't have those for the first one. And if I bought one of those, I know darn well I end up having to get the the first one in that way again. So I figured to be played safe, just get the 4K. So I got the 4K. And then the last thing I got new release wise is I did get Gemini Man, the Steel Book. I have not seen this movie, so I don't know it's if it's good or not. I've heard mixed reviews on it. A lot of people haven't really liked it. A lot of people said it was a good one-off movie. But I'm a big fan of Will Smith, and I have all his other movies on, on, in either DVD or Blu-ray, so it makes sense just to go ahead and get this one, too. Um, and that's it. That's all I picked up this week. I didn't really get a whole lot. I mean, you saw what I got for earlier because I picked up the dollar, my Dollar Tree video. You saw I picked up all that stuff last week. So that is it. Um, thank you guys all for watching. Thanks for commenting on my videos. I did manage to comment to everybody in the last two videos I posted. Thank you very, excuse me, very, very much for commenting on those. And I can see already that a lot of people are really pick up some cool stuff this time I'm on the Dollar Tree. I'm kind of jealous. Actually, I'm not kind of. I really am jealous. There's some stuff people found just like, come on. Um, I did stop by another Dollar Tree today and I did pick up a few things. But I'm going to wait to the end of the week to do another video until I get a few more because I'm going to hit one, one or two more before then. So, um, and also be on the lookout for this week. I've, I will, I will post up my, my review of Kni Knives Out. I'm sorry I did not get to it. That Dollar Tree thing threw me off. So I felt I had to get it as quickly as possible. And then also be on the lookout for, I, it's, I refilmed it. It's ready to go now. It's my, um, the last like month or so haul, my Rasputin big law type of haul that I got. So that'll be posted this week as well. Again, thank you guys all for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know. What, are you excited about anything coming out this week or next week? Um, what do you think about Star Wars? Do you think they are going to put them? I, I mean, eventually they will put them all in 4K, but do you think it's going to be before or after? And uh, please like the video. If you like the video, please click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos by me. Big B. Click the little bell to notify you when I do put in videos. Again, thank you guys all for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Please share this video if you got the chance. Um, everybody take care out there. Always keep hunting because you never know what you're going to find. And as always, live long and prosper. Bye.